Greetings to all those who have assembled here in city council chambers and our viewing audience on the Durham Television Network. We are ready to begin tonight's 2018 Citizens Police Academy graduation program. At this time, I ask everyone to stand for the presentation of colors by the Durham Police Department's Honor Guard and the singing of the national anthem by Kimberly Walker. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof that our flag was still there. Oh, say does the star-spangled banner yet wave o'er oh, the land of the free and the You may be seated. Good evening, everyone. My name is Officer Curtis Knight, and I'm one of the coordinators for the Durham Police Department's Citizens Police Academy. The Citizens Police Academy is one of the department's most impactful outreach programs that strengthen police community relationships. I say this with all sincerity, and not just because I play an integral part. Actually, a team of us look forward to planning and implementing the Citizens Police Academy each year. We are genuinely excited by the relationships we as staff form with our participants. Community Service Division Captain Walter Tate had an important commitment tonight, so he couldn't be here, but he wishes us to have a memorable celebration tonight. So at this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Lieutenant Mark Murray Assistant Commander of the Community Service Division, Lieutenant Murray. Good evening, everyone. It's my pleasure to uh, say congratulations to the graduates and welcome you to your graduation ceremony. I also would like to um, welcome family members, the supporters, and the city and police department staff. Well, aren't that you here? I'm watching by the Durham Television Network. I'd also like to take a moment to acknowledge the presence of Councilman Mark Anthony Middleton and former past uh, Mayor Pro Tem Cora Coleman Fadden, who decided to celebrate a birthday with, today with us. Thank you for attending. Again, I am Mark Moray, the Assistant Commander of the Community Services Division. 
October is a very busy month for Community Service Division as it marks the annual observance of the National Crime Prevention. Programs like the Durham Police Citizens Police Academy are important in helping the community achieve its public safety goals. Participants in the academy commit to attending two classes a week for at least two hours each night over a period of seven weeks. And I'll tell you, these guys are tough because even Hurricane Florence didn't deter them uh, to, to attend class. Uh, so they came out uh, to do one class just before the storm hit. And it is that class that I heard that somebody expressed concern for the police and the first responders who would be working during a storm. Uh, so we appreciate that sentiment. Although one class was canceled, they, they went on and uh, there was some scheduling adjustments. Uh, we will try to get that class that you missed in and offer that at a later time so you get the full experience. But I'm very pleased to say this year education does not end tonight. We want to share with you that the Community Services Division has launched a new outreach program this year called DPD University. So now you've got the basics. There are other classes that we bring to you, which may include classes on crisis intervention, investigations, canine, and other topics that are, uh, their community want to know about. So they're listed on our website, and all you have to do is call, and we'll come out to you and, and, edu and give you the class. So thank you again to, uh, for coming tonight, and have a good evening. Appreciate it. Thank you, Lieutenant Murray. Uh, hello, my name is Officer Lawrence Brown, and I'm also a co-coordinator -coordina of the Citizens Police Academy. Uh, as we stated before, uh, Hurricane Florence didn't deter our class uh, from getting together from uh, the storm was about to hit. We were quite impressed that they came out to tactical night under cloudy skies and threatening rain. That was, what was even more compelling is that nearly all of them made a, a point to express their concern for police officers and first responders who will be working during the storm. Unfortunately, due to Hurricane Florence, one class was canceled, and we hope to be able to extend continuing education sessions for topics we were not able to reschedule. Nonetheless, there was quite a few interesting classes and experiences in this academy. So at this time, I would like to invite Vicki Winters and Jeffrey Thomas to share their insights as 2018 Citizens Police Academy graduates. My name is Vicki Winters. And I was born and raised here in Durham. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's an honor and privilege to stand before you and to share my remarks about my experience and participation in the Durham City Police Academy. My unit manager, which, who is here tonight, Jesse Pickett Williams, told me on a Thursday, there's a workshop this weekend and um, I wondered if you'd be interested in going. And it was, the, it was there that I met LaWanda Mock, Officer Mock. And so that workshop was so interesting and so many speakers, I was like, well, I'm, I'm gonna do something else. So I asked her at the end of the workshop, was there anything else going on? And she informed me about the Citizens Police Academy. And it was a program that the Community Resource Unit was involved with. So I signed up. <laughs> um, the Durham City Police Academy was truly an enlightening experience. I enjoyed the entire program. Officer Brown and Officer Knight did a phenomenal job facilitating our class. I found every sex session to be intriguing. Each speaker that presented was knowledgeable, professional, and passionate about their careers and positions on the team as a whole. From the first call, the first class, we had the call center 911, which is non-Durham PD, Durham DPD. But um, I was able to, I think of them as our unsung heroes because they're the first connection and I thank you for your service and you provide a, that you provide to our great city. As a public servant in the health field, you reminded me of how stressful and intense and equally important your roles are. I think my classmates share this sentiment. Every Tuesday and Thursday, we look forward to coming to class. Even after putting in an eight to nine hour day, we, were, we mustered up enough energy to make it to, to the class. Last night, a fellow classmate said, I'm sad that class is over. But Stephanie, we still got to do our ride along. We got to get it in, okay? 
like I said, every class was interesting, and I learned a lot. So I got an overview of the officer's perspective. The K-9 unit, the gang awareness, and the forensic sessions were my personal favorites. Because of this class, I have a deeper insight into how hard your jobs are, that you all have so much compassion. It is inspiring, and I am grateful for your service and dedication. The second point I wanted to make to this is about the class itself. The composition reflected our neighborhoods and communities. Everyone made the class richer. I'm glad you are all my neighbors, and that includes the Durham Police Department. I feel everyone that lives in Durham should take this class, especially participating in the class to strengthen our community and build positive relationships with the people we have chosen, that have chosen to serve and protect our neighborhoods. And that those that have relocated to the Bill Bull City should be required to take the class to become a full-fledged Durhamite. <laughs> Lastly, I want to thank my classmates for engaging in this learning process. And in, I enjoyed meeting with you. I hope we get another opportunity to work as a group again. I know Durham is great because of you and the products we produce. We have great leaders here. I am proud to say that I am from the city of medicine, the Bull City. In conclusion, I could make one more suggestion that the class be modified and formatted in a way that it could be offered as modules to the primary and early teen population. I think that it would be deter juvenile delinquency and our youth would be able to envision themselves as heroes by building positive relationships with officers like Curtis Knight, Lawrence Brown, and LaWanda Monk, and Sergeant Jerome Cruz. Thank you so much. Good evening, my name is Jeffrey Thomas. I'll apologize in advance for the length of my speech. I'll try to go through it. I did pare it down, but I just felt pretty passionate about what I was going to say, so, and I know each of you wants to eat dinner, so. <laughs> Greetings to the Durham Police Department, Chief Davis, Executive Command Staff, police officers, and most, notice, most notably, Officer Curtis Knight, Officer Lawrence Brown, and Kimberly Walker who have devoted their time organizing and facilitating the implementation of the Citizens Police Academy. I would first like to thank the City of Durham for continuing to fund the Citizens Police Academy and the Durham Police Department for organizing and implementing the actual program. I'd also like to thank each of the departments who had officers and civilians conduct each of the sessions and answer our questions. I believe that each of us has gained a much better understanding of and appreciation for the functions of the various divisions within the Durham Police Department. I'm willing to bet that not many of us realize just how comprehensive and numerous and necessary each of the divisions is to the overall function and effectiveness of the department as a whole. I would be willing to wager that most of us already had an appreciation for what each of the officers does, but having learned more about the responsibilities of each of the divisions has only enhanced our appreciation and respect for law enforcement officers and their civilian counterparts. Protecting the public and society and establishing and maintaining a sense of law and order are important functions that do not see those who participate in such responsibilities receiving a salary that is commensurate with the responsibilities and the risks involved. The long hours and mediocre pay are probably not what attracted most officers to the profession, however. Learning about the 911 emergency communications and the intricacies involved in the performance of their duties and the long hours and the understaffing gives one a whole new appreciation for the vital role that each communication specialist or responder fulfills. Learning that officers who have worked with canines during their period of service have the first opportunity to give them a forever home following each dog's retirement was touching. This not only makes for a seamless transition for the officer, but also the dog. In addition, it rewards both the officer and the dog for their service. Learning about forensics was quite eye-opening. The slides adeptly illustrated the conditions to which our forensics team is subjected and the important role that each member of the team has. Many of these crime scenes must create indelible memories for the staff involved. Learning about the specialty units and investigative services division and the hazards to which these officers are subjective, subjected gives one a deeper appreciation for potential crises 
to which we probably do not give a lot of thought unless we are personally involved or affected. Learning about the roles that the crisis intervention team and Crime Stoppers have in making our community a better and safer place and providing a monetary incentive in addition to the intrinsic reward of helping solve a crime enables each of us to communicate this information to a broader audience, such as our subdivision or neighborhood, in order to have an even bigger impact in making our city safer. Learning about the criminal investigations division and the various domains for which this division is responsible and the challenges, complexities, and endless hours of completing investigations in order to solve crimes makes one realize that we need more investigators engaging in such important work. The use of force simulator had quite the impact. Engaging in such activities lets us realize just how little time officers have to make life and death decisions. Decisions that can have and usually do have long-term consequences and ramifications. It is easy for an outsider to judge and or criticize any situation when one is not directly involved. Nothing is ever simple. Human actions and interactions are complex. Our final class sessions about chemical and biological agents and the effects that they can have on people and officers' use of body cameras was insightful and informative. During the last two years, and particularly following the election of Donald Trump as president, I have come to appreciate law and order. While he espouses such an appreciation and calls himself the law and order president, he does not have an appreciation of and respect for such law and order and truth when it pertains to him personally and his administration's policies. While the line between truth and lies has been continually blurred and it has become difficult, if not impossible, to believe what he or those in his administration say, I have come to appreciate not only the truth, but also the importance and value that our institutions hold in our society and democracy. Such institutions are only as strong and as excellent as the people working in them. It is reassuring and important as a resident of Durham that our police officers hold themselves to high standards, that they exemplify truth, integrity, honesty, empathy, kindness, fairness, a sense of duty, caring, responsibility, dedication, and commitment. My participation in this academy has given me hope and encouragement, hope that seems to be lacking for progressive-minded people who see the daily chaos, lies, dishonesty, disorganization, racism, xenophobia, misogyny, homophobia, and other forms of discrimination and corruption being committed daily, not only by the president, but also by members of his cabinet and other members of his administration. Institutional anchors have never been as important as they are now, yet we see how they are being chipped away and eroded each day through unwarranted criticism, bullying, deflection, and lies. I commend our police officers for functioning in an honorable and professional manner as they perform their daily responsibilities that are understandably difficult and challenging. As a retired public school teacher of English and high school administrator who spent 25 years in education, 15 as a teacher and 10 as an administrator, and who spent three years in the United States Marine Corps immediately after high school, I understand that the pay is not great, but that employee benefits such as health care, sick leave, vacation leave, and an eventual retirement pension do make committing one's career to a life of service worthwhile. Intrinsic rewards, however, can be many in knowing that people in such professions are fulfilling a valuable societal role, that they are giving back to society, which can be a reward in and of itself, that they are helping to protect others, either by defending their country or their community or by educating others to help them protect themselves in numerous ways. The rewards of serving in such professions are realized sometimes while performing in such a capacity, but many times only after a significant event when one has had time to reflect and or when one receives feedback from an appreciative cadet, subordinate, or superior. I would submit that the most rewarding feedback might even come from a citizen who would feel grateful, appreciative, and relieved for the support that he or she felt during and or after a particular incident or traumatic event. We never know how we touch each other's lives. I know that working with the community is a challenge in and of itself because of the kinds of people who live in our communities from one end of the spectrum of being reasonable, respectful, and courteous to those at the other end who are extremely challenging, belligerent, and disrespectful. Police officers have a difficult job, not only in interacting with challenging people, but also in diffusing volatile situations and putting their lives at risk 
for the sake of all of us on a daily basis. I submit that we have a great sense of safety and security in knowing that police officers are serving and protecting us, something that none of us should take for granted, but that quite possibly we are not always conscious of. As a newly appointed member of the Civilian Police Review Board, I am required to ride along with an officer for a total of 16 hours. I would encourage each of my classmates to commit to at least a four hour ride along, which is one shift, in order to enhance one's perspective and appreciation for the department even more. I know that some of you have already participated in such a ride along or have scheduled one. I would finally say to my classmates that our commitment and service to our communities should not end as a result of our graduating from the Citizens Police Academy, but that it should merely be a beginning to a partnership with and support of the police department in order for Durham to become an even better and safer place in which to live. One person can make a difference, and together we can make an even more profound difference and effect change. Durham, where great things are happening. Thank you. Thank you, Jeffrey. Core Citizens Police Academy strategy team members, Officer Brown, Kimberly Walker, and I strategize on ways to enhance the CPA experience for our citizens and to contribute to the professional development and recognition of session facilitators. Last year, we initiated CPA presenter and faculty awards to commend officers and staff for excellence in presentation delivery and rapport with CPA participants. At this time, Assistant Chief Delma Allen will present these special commendations. Chief Allen. Good evening. And to the 2018 class of Citizens Police Academy, congratulations. Uh, I know those six weeks were somewhat long, but you made it. But we can also tack six weeks on if you would like. So I'm here to actually present a couple of awards tonight um, in an effort to show appreciation for the Durham Police Department's employees and guests who facilitate Citizen Police Academy sessions. Last year in 2017, Citizen Police Academy coordinators added an awards component to the CPA graduation. It is important to recognize session presenters for notable contributions to the success of the Academy experience. Award recipients are determined by class evaluation sheets as well as Academy coordinator feedback and insights. The last CPA class sessions were held last evening. Uh, this, this class uh, conducted some evaluations of the class sessions last night and uh, those classes that were presented last night was the body worn cameras and the biological chemical emergency response team, which is known as BSERT. So 2018 class, last night your evaluations were highly ranked, or highly ranked both of these classes last night. However, your feedback ratings for two other sessions were a bit higher. So at this time, I'm pleased to present the 2018 Citizens Police Academy Most Impactful Session Award to Lieutenant Mark Clancy and Corporal Daniel Kusage of the Durham Police Department's Training Division. So this award is for fostering greater understanding among members of the Citizens Police Academy class of 2018 of the challenges of policing through open and transparent discussion on use of force training, protocols, and public perception. Here are some of the comments that were presented by members of the Citizens Police Academy 2018 in regards to the simulation session that they were um, instructed on. One class attendee indicated that this was the best class of all for me. Excellent presentation in all respects tonight. Instantaneous decisions to be made. Simulator is an excellent tool to be used for practice for each officer. Another class participant indicated that they loved this session. The use of force simulator was super interesting 
and helped me understand what cops go through. The speakers were super interesting and frank, and their impact was very insightful. Another class participant indicated, I'm very impressed and thankful our PD has access to such a great training tool. I'm glad to have experienced it, definitely have a new appreciation. So let's give them another round of applause. Our next 2018 Citizens Police Academy presenter honoree received these comments from participation. I, am appreci I appreciate the amount of time that the speaker spent preparing for his presentation. His enthusiasm motivated and stimulated the audience. Very well organized, well delivered. I knew nothing about this and I learned a lot. Great job, content and delivery from another class member. And lastly, awesome speaker, knows his stuff in and out. I'm pleased to present the 2018 Citizens Police Academy Above and Beyond Award to Senior Patrol Officer Brandon Parrott. This award is in recognition of excellent, I'm sorry, of extra efforts made an exceptional professional and creative delivery of information on the Durham Crime Stoppers program for the 2018 Citizens Police Academy. Can we give them another round? Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I was waiting for someone to introduce me. <laughs> I get no introduction. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to be here tonight. I was actually sitting there paring my speech down. <laughs> I think enough has been said tonight about how um, wonderful this experience has been for our academy. Um, graduates tonight, um, I would be remiss if I didn't say that I think they sort of changed the program up a little bit. I was supposed to sing the national anthem, <laughs> but they thought I might shadow Kim's performance a little, so uh, they just put me on there to give remarks. So um, good evening, everyone. It's truly an honor to be here tonight to speak to our graduating class. On behalf of the entire police department, I am full of enthusiasm as we recognize the class of 2018, our Citizens Police Academy graduates. Your completion of this program required a significant and sacrificial commitment on your part. Our department does not take that lightly at all. I know that you are all hardworking individuals, even though some of you may be at home moms or whatever you may do, it is a sacrifice to spend time away from what's important to you. Our Citizens Police Academy is based on the core principles of community policing. The notion of our residents being knowledgeable about our department invested in our agency and willing to be active partners as we work to carry out our mission is the foundation that leads to long lasting sustainable success. A successful police department engages its community in a variety of ways to ensure we are working together towards common goals. So each of you are key components to our success and to the future and vitality of the city of Durham. Four of tonight's graduates are members of the Civilian Police Review Board. We've heard from one of those members. Mr. Thomas, thank you for your remarks this evening. I'm confident that your experience in this program will have a lasting and significant impact towards your service on the board. I hope that you were enlightened 
about the work that is being done at all levels of the department, but especially the men and women who are interacting with residents every day. As I close, I would like to also take a moment to thank the staff as well. I know they've been recognized already, but all of the individuals that took part in this program, developing the curriculum and ensuring that you had your snacks and all, <laughs> snacks are important. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Food is important, especially after five and six o'clock in the evening. We thank you. And I know Captain Tate is not here tonight, Lieutenant Moray, your team, we congratulate you for a successful Citizens Police Academy. And I would be remiss not to recognize Chief Allen. Where are you? Again, there you are. He spoke earlier. Thank you for your commitment to this program. To the graduates, now that you've earned the CPA certificate, don't be a stranger. Let's continue this great partnership. We, the first responders, community leaders, community advocates and all residents have a responsibility to take ownership of our city. I reflect back to the well-known Mahatma Gandhi quote, be the change that you wish to see in the world. We need your voice, we need you to be at the table. Together, we can make our city a better place to live, work, and play. Again, congratulations, and at this time, I would like to welcome the illustrious and honorable Mayor Shule to the podium. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. You're welcome, sir. I'd like to introduce Chief Davis. She didn't get an introduction. <laughs> Thank you. It's great to be here, and uh, it's great to see this, speaking of illustrious, illustrious uh, group of graduates. What you all have done is very important for our city, and I know that You've heard this before tonight, but I want to say again, please spread the word. Spread the word. We have a great police department. Their job is very difficult. They're, they're being police officers in a time where there's lots of controversy surrounding policing in this country. And we need to give them our support. And now that you know, and you know the work that they do, you know how hard it is, and you know that the, the, the heart with which they do it, please spread the word. Tell people. Spread, spread the word about the great work of the Durham Police Department. Uh, I do want to say that I'm glad that Carmesha Wallace was in this class. Uh, you all know Carmesha has a very special place here in the city of Durham. And uh, when I found out that she was in this class, I was glad that she was finally learning something. So Carmesha, <laughs> thank you. And I also want to give a shout out to our longtime Mayor Pro Tem, Cora Cole McFadden, who's with us, and her Daughter Laurie's in the class, and uh, so I'm uh, really, really glad to see you back in the chambers, Cora, uh, Cora and uh, to see you, Laurie. I also just finally, before I finish my remarks, just want to say I really like seeing these young police officers take a leadership role who uh, have been running this academy. It's great to see this kind of leadership development, and I know that one day you guys will be sitting up here uh, in the in the position of these chiefs, so keep at it, and we need you. Thank you. So thank you. So thank you very much, and congratulations to you all who have gone through this really important uh, academy, and we we appreciate it so very much. Now it's time for the presentation of certificates. At this time, I'm going to invite my police chief, Sarah Lynn C.J. Davis, and the executive com command staff to join us up front for the presentation. Mayor Shule, you are certainly welcome to join the presentation line if you like. And we would ask the graduating class to stand and, and um, yes for your presentation of certificates. Okay. Thank you. You're fine. Our first graduate is Perry Adams.
I also want to recognize Nisha Carr, who was absent this evening. Also, Reginald Carter. <laughs> Amy Dumdumaya. John Gibson. Myra L. Griffin. I will slow down for a few pictures. Angela Hernandez. Sarah Johnson. <laughs> Absent this evening, Benjamin Lacasio. Our next graduate is Lori McFadden. <laughs> Willie, Willie Mewborn. Corey Piantock. Kendra J. Presley. Stephanie Rhodes. Keisha Royal. <laughs> David A. Smith. <laughs> Leslie Smith. Jeffrey L. Thomas. <laughs> J. M. Tramontine. <laughs> Allison Urban. Christy Viles. <laughs> Carmesha R. Wallace. <laughs> Erica Weaver is absent this evening. And last, Vicki Winters. Let us give the graduates one more round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> Executive commanders, you may be seated. And at this time, the class has asked to make a presentation. So come forward. Un momento, por favor. Um, the class that I got together at the last minute, we said we got to do something special for our facilitators because they were just wonderful, and we can't pay you for what you've done for us, and you've shown us so much and given us so much wisdom, but you got to eat, okay? <laughs> so we just wanted to present to Officer Knight, if you would step up this way, please, sir. 
by the end of the third session, I was calling him Cochise. <laughs> okay. And of course, Officer Lawrence Brown. These two guys have great chemistry together. They, I believe they could teach all of Durham. <laughs> and last but not least, Kimberly Walker, the woman behind the scenes, keeping it all together. You got it. My classmate. Good evening. Uh, on behalf of the Citizen Police Academy class of 2018, um, again, we just cannot let you all know how much we really appreciate the city for offering this course, as well as the three wonderful people that were instrumental in bringing us so much information and taking their time out of their schedule, be away from their families, why they gave us this wonderful, wonderful opportunity. So on behalf of our class, if Officer Knight could please come back forward. <laughs> Officer Knight made sure that before anybody sat down, before anybody got up, that we completed surveys. Sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, another survey. But I am so glad that we did take the time to do those surveys because each and every one that we filled out helps the next class and helps the next citizen of Durham. So on behalf of our class, it's a small token for you as well as Officer Brown and Kimberly. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Sergeant Cruz, and this will be brief. Um, I'd like to start by saying I've been with the Community Resource Unit three years, and I enjoyed it. So just so none of my guys would get transferred, I'd like to introduce the Chief, Chief Davis, <laughs> since, since nobody else did it. She's been here two years. She's from Atlanta. Good things are happening with Chief Davis. Okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> I want to give another congratulations to the 2018 Citizen Police Academy. It was a, a great experience. I would like to thank Officer Brown, Officer Knight, Officer Mark, Lieutenant Murray, Lieutenant Shepard for their assistance. But I would like to give a special thank you to Kimberly Walker. Okay? Okay, Miss Walker really deserves that applause. She does so much for this unit. I've been here three years. Anytime I need anything, I reach out to Kim. She gives it to me. Monday morning, 1 o'clock in the morning, I'm asleep. She sends me information for, uh, for an event that we have that's a month down the road. That's how, how hard she works. Now, when I need something, I call her. Now, she might send you a 10-page email letting you know to get your stuff together. But... I read it with love and I keep on moving. But she does so much, so much. Now this is my third, third CPA and I think it's very, it's a good job for my officers and it's a good opportunity for us to bond with the community and build a relationship that we have. I think the world is constantly changing and evolving. We always have concerns that people want to address and it's always very informative. Uh, we always get good feedback. We always get good questions, and not all the questions we get are, what are lovely. Sometimes people have some, some really heated questions that they want to have, that they want to ask. And we can understand because of the, the, today's society, society. So it's good to have that opportunity to reach out to the community and have an event like this so that we can bond and answer those questions. So again, I just want to say congratulations to the um, 2018 Citizen Police Academy, and thank you again for the officers, and thank the command staff for everything that you do, because without your support, none of this could take place. So thank you, and um, at the end of this uh, ceremony, I would like the um, class to come to the front so we can take pictures, and um, 
we have refreshments in the lobby. Thank you. So the graduation ceremony has formally concluded. Please join the executive command staff in the city hall atrium for refreshments. Have a good evening. Safe driving, yes. Yes, the class, please stay for the photo. The rest of you can proceed. Well, the executive commander's photo too. Our guests can proceed to the food line. Thank you. <laughs>